Hello? We're back on the 95cc build, 372. Uh, another part came in for it. I got something to share with you, though, that you're going to like. We have Buck and Likes, the low-top air filter. And so we're setting him up with that. And this is a XP brand-new top cover. I'll tell you what I got. So we have choices. This is a brand-new saw build. I mean, it's new. I mean, we got brand-new gas tank. Yeah, that's a pretty gas tank. Brand new starter cover. Uh, of course, it's, it's Husqvarna, you know. And uh, you want you want good stuff to start it with. That's the last thing you want failing is that thing. But uh, you, you guys already know, this is a 58mm bore with a Weisskull piston. Okay. So it's, it's quite... Substantial. Pardon me. I've got a couple saw repairs I gotta do. Doctor's appointments this week, so things are gonna go crazy. I thought one was today, but it's not. Tomorrow, and then oh, I have to look at my schedule things. But it's, it's nuts. Yeah, let's see what this says. This is something that in today's world I find it hard to get. Uh, it, it's not to be believed. Uh, it's another top cover for a 372. Okay, this is the x -Tor. I'll tell you why that I got this. I am going to give Buck in every choice in the world. How would you like it? You're going to get your sub made at Subway. They tell you. What would you like on that? Go to Burger King. What do you want? You, you, you want to change something, they'll do it for you. That kind of thing. It's a, it's a good service. Okay. These covers, oh, they they look the same. The, the one on top, that's the x -tort. From here to here, they're slightly taller. So what it allows you to do is be able to, once you take, and you got to gut everything in there. It, it goes over the cylinder and covers it up. Or if we want a hot rod classic look, we just take this brand new $100 cover and just whack away at it and let the cylinder stick through. Um, if you got an opinion which way you would ever want to see one, um, if you stick it through, would you go ahead and uh, use the matte black paint and go through and polish your fins? You got to have it. Maybe you polish the top even. Wouldn't that be cool? But I'm going to be doing one of these with no 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 hood on it for me. Okay, let's talk about something that's very interesting. Something that those of you that's got, you know, are on the inside track, understand with YouTube, there's a behind-the-scenes motion. It just flows. It's continuous. And there's little eddies that travel from one. And you're in that as a YouTuber. Now, I have a fairly significant channel uh, for saw builders, and it's doing really well. Uh, I got saws all over the world. It's because of this kind of stuff. You know, everybody gets excited over something crazy, but they don't realize they don't want crazy. What they want is just really good. Okay, I'm into really good. Yeah. So you guys like that uh, saw that I'm going to send Tin Man. At 372 is that they're a nice build they're a relaxing build because they're so simple anybody can do it you can build that build yourself so easy so easy you just go back a few videos and uh, you look where i built that saw and uh you can duplicate that every step of the way and have the same exact results let's talk about some results i don't take saw bills from other people uh, you already know that I, people have already built in the past four. I kind of I kind of build their saw still here and there, but even that's limited because I just can't I can't do it. I'm one I'm one man. That's all it is. Uh, this channel keeps me hopping. Pardon me if I can't breathe. I just can't breathe. Yesterday I had a good day, didn't I? Today not so good. It, uh, I feel like I'm gonna fall right out of this chair. 
can't wait for that ablation. That, that cracks my heart rhythm and, and, and how fast it beats, I'll be happy. Rip saws. You see that 500i they sent Buck and Billy? That's showstopper, buddy. That's a production saw. I see saws out there from other people that, that are good saws, but no, I wouldn't. I watch them cut. No, I wouldn't take that to the woods. Couldn't make no money with that. That's who I am. That 500 I they sent bucking, you can make money with that. You can. They're a different animal, aren't they? Light and fast. Eric Nelson had his 500 I out here last spring. How you doing, Eric? Things lights out, and that's factory. Uh, I can plug these guys. Just I, I've already talked to them. Uh, I know who they are. Really kind bunch of lads. And I'm going to tell you what. They got a nice facility. And he let me know where the future is for them. Where they're headed for this. And boy, I'll tell you what. I was really excited. But I can't talk about it yet. I just want you to know these boys are going somewhere. They're not sitting there dreaming about being a forum king or queen. How do you, is it forum, are they queens down there? I don't know. I shouldn't say that. Yeah. They're wanting to build good work saws for people like you and I. If you want a 500i or anything that they build, go on their website. And it's just, I'll tell you how I found it. I just typed in rip saws. And they said, first thing popped up, con con uh, rip saws contact. Bam, bam, bam. Here comes their site. Bought some really cool videos on it. They got a YouTube channel. Uh, and uh, it's not a big one yet. I got an idea it's going to be. There's a lot of haters out there. And I'm going to tell you, if I don't know who somebody is, I look to see who they're hating on. Well, that's where I first got clue of them, was watching the haters hate. They got haters on them. You're not nothing in the saw world. If You're not a good builder if you don't have a lot of haters. I'm going to tell you, that's the way it is. But they got a few. I'm willing to add all my haters to their haters. That's going to freaking triple their haters. And that's good for them. I'm going to promote them. And I am right now. Uh, I trust them. I only got to talk to somebody less than five minutes. And I know whether uh, that's somebody I will do business with. I want to do business with them. You are going to see collaborations between Ripsaws and I. That's on the table. You will see it. You're going to see me in their shop. Probably summertime. You're going to see me right there with them guys. Um, I like them, number one. The most important thing, I like their work. I love their work. This is not new to me. So when Buck and Billy got a rip saw, I was like, hmm. Buck is the toughest sell you'll ever get. You're, he, he's going to be, you, you think you're going to build a saw that's going to run like hell and send it to Buckin? Chances are that you'll never see it on a video. He's that nice. He's not going to show a turd. Or if he does, he's like, eh, okay. You might see it once. I'm going to tell you, he, he runs my saws all the time. There's a reason for that. Oh, he likes me. That's not it. He could hate my freaking guts. But if he liked my saw, he's in it for the saws. And uh, he knows what he's doing. And he knows what he likes. He likes what the rest of us like that are loggers, you know. And that trickles over to homeowners and, and farmers and people that occasionally use saws or, or, or do saw work with their friends. It trickles down. You take advantage of those of us that's been professional in the field and, and still are in some ways um, of what we learn. And then you can apply it to your own use. You got something. But when you get... Buckin never asked me. So he never said a word about rip to me. Not a word. Not one word. And a few weeks ago, I says, Who's these rip saws? I already knew. It's nice to already have the answer before you ask the question, ain't it? That'll get you everywhere. Mm -hmm. I learned that one a long time ago. And he says, I like them. He says, and, so what do you think of that 500i? I just got to get used to it. 
He said, but I want to help them. They're good lads. He said, I've been in their shop. They're good people. And I trust Buck's judgment. I never learned to. He didn't get where he uh, is uh, on YouTube without being a good uh, uh, judge of character, trust me. So, through the conversation, they're sending me one of their 500 eyes. How many builders will send a builder like me that's well-known one of their saws? Uh, there hasn't been many even asked. I have ran a few, and they're either I like it or I don't like it or, yeah. And then they always want to explain what they did and why it didn't work like they wanted. I don't want to hear all that. All I want to see, pull that trigger, see results. It's that stinking simple as a pull the trigger, see results. What am I getting? They like, you can send them your saw. If you go buy a brand new saw, you have a particular one, you can contact them and arrange to send a brand new saw to them of your choice and they'll do it for you. Uh, or you can just purchase one right up front. They, they buy volume, so, you know, they got an advantage over what you can do. But let's say you got a saw particular you want to do, and you can get a new one, or really, really good used one. They'll listen to you. They'll talk to you. They don't do what I do and take these miserable hulks and resurrect them, you know. I'm an archaeologist, for Christ's sakes, half the time, just digging, digging for parts. Try to find another one that's got an opposite part of what this one's got. That's where this saw started from. And you see where the... Yeah, I said, you know what? I'm going to use a donor saw, and I'm buying new parts. I'm, I'm, I want a nice build. So, if you're in a market for a 500i that lights out, contact Rip Saw. I will promise you, you will not regret it. You won't. I think what Steele did do, though, is I think it's part of the program of the computer on it. It may keep you richened up for a, a given amount of hours is what I think it is. And so they'll flutter on top end. But I have seen these 500 eyes. Once they've been around a while, they'll ring right to the moon. Which is, you've seen that. It was bucking. So. But... Uh, wouldn't it be neat to see Iron Horse be able to be in a shop with them guys with their heads together in a corner? Do you know what's going to happen next when I get to go meet with them, do things? And I'm going to share some private information with them that nobody else has got contact of. I keep this channel entry level. What is the most bang for the buck? Where am I going to get the gains that are reasonable? And affordable, okay? And and I show little tips and tricks. You guys, you don't see 10% of what the saw really is. You don't. There's way, way more to it. And these these fellas are really on the game. And you know, they told me, I talked to them today again. We're still learning. Well, good. I said, I'm 62 years old. You know something? I'm still learning. There's no... I don't care what field you're in. If you're not learning anymore, you're bored to death and ought to quit. Shouldn't you? Yeah, that's what I think of it. But 500 eyes are innovative. They really are. They intrigue me. 80 freaking CC class saw. And it's that light. Um, the one thing I didn't like about holding a 500 eye the the mounts aren't strong enough. A real kind of a loose goosey thing, and I understand you can get the uh, stronger uh, spring mounts to put in that and make that really something. Was it West? What is it? West Coast saws? Is that who's got them? You guys will tell me. I know you will. But brand new side cover. I'm loving it. Cannot wait to run this. I'll tell you what I'm going to do for Ripsaw. They're really taking a risk sending me a ported saw. You know that. Um, but they're confident. And after seeing what Buckus did, if they could duplicate K-Tap for me, yep, 
If we're going to take it right out in freaking tall timber, I won't put it to, straight through the test. I will run it. I will run it hard. I will find the weak points if there's any. That's what I do with my own builds. Whenever I'm developing something new, and yes, I am doing that all the time. I either put it in a logger's hands or get myself in a position where I really got time to do a lot of cutting, or both. I want to find the weak parts because it's work saw stuff. The rest of you guys that are haters and you just want to pile on these guys, do it. Just do it because I'll tell you why. The more you guys can hate on them, it's going to be the same way as when you're hating on me. All it does is attract more attention to me. My name gets spread more. People read you guys or listen to you guys. Well, why are they talking smack about this iron horse? Who the heck is he? Same thing with Ripsaw. Why, well, who's this Ripsaw guy? They're just tearing a new butt on. So they go over and check them out. This is why my channel's growth so good. It's because, number one, A, I build intriguing projects that people like, and they're successful builds, okay? I can hate any, on anybody, saw, including my own, if I wanted to. That'd be kind of retarded, wouldn't it? I'm not doing that. I'm not hating on your guys' saws, either. You build what's fun for you to run. I want horsepower. Plain and simple. That's what I want. Uh, I cannot get... See that right there? You know why they're hitting a small block? That's not even a big block, big block. This is a big, big block. Of course, we got a long ways. We got to send the bottom end of the machine shop. But we're putting new Cali's crank in it, stroker crank. Going to 496 inches. The next one we do is we're going to start with a dart block and go to 540 inch. So you're going to see a lot of this really fun stuff right here. Okay. Once I get my surgery done. And I can actually function again. And you're going to see me in Ripsaw shop. And believe me, we're going to have our heads together on some projects. Only because it's fun. You know what I'm going to do for them? I already told them I would. They didn't ask either. There's another one. Everybody wants an iron horse saw. I don't blame one darn bet. I want an iron horse saw. I get very few of my own saws. That's not a joke. So, I said, I want to... Do something nice for you. How about if I build a 372 in the middle of summer? Let me get through surgery and let me get caught up. I got to build two, three saws for bucking. I got a few other people's saws. It's got to be out of my hair and be done successfully. Let's look at the summer. I'm going to build you something special. I'm going to build you something you can pass around the shop, take out, cut with it, do whatever you want, tear it apart, see what makes it tick. I don't even care. And I want to build you something it's just a fun saw, something you can't build for yourself. You know, well, you could be a personal saw, but you couldn't build a saw. You know, the hardest thing in the world to do is take a saw and do it on a production level, build them, and put them out there to the public. They're strong, strong, strong runners like they build and keep them together. That's tough. That's hard. And uh, when you can do that, there's a point you got to quit. Or are you just going to just tear a saw out? They can't take the heat, that's what it is. And they don't got no telling who's going to be running the saw, or how they're going to treat it. So it's got to be bulletproof. There's the reason. If they can build 500 eyes as strong as they are and keep them in loggers' hands, they run them day in, day out, they got my attention because they can build them far, far stronger and have learned where to stop. Where's that breaking point? Exactly where is it? And how, and then you're constantly, and I know this, on a journey of looking for the next new thing in the same saw. You're going to take your own builds, and you're going to start beating your own builds. And then you're going to beat that build with another build. Just like this stuff right here. It all matters, doesn't it? Rip saws have my attention. And I, uh, I believe in them get a hold of them just if you're thinking about a 500 i and you got the dough step up call them if you don't have enough dough call them anyway tell you why they can get you a, a more than a reasonable chance to get you financed who else can do that i can't do that 
I can't do that. There's nobody else on YouTube that's building a sauce who can do that. There isn't. Okay? If you want professional work, you go to the professionals. They're making a living at this. And, and they're doing really good. I highly recommend them. You won't regret it. And I can't wait to try one of the saws. Okay, that's it for today's video. And we'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.